the fast is over. Did you make it? Number one, look, look, wait a minute, because we got something to talk about. Okay. This fast was by far, I felt like, the most clarifying fast I didn't had in so long. I feel like I was able to understand some things about myself that I haven't been able to explore. And the more I keep going, the more I keep exploring, the more I keep learning that I am amazing. <laughs> the stuff that I was doing, how I kind of um, just navigated through these things was amazing. I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to get straight to the point. We ain't going to be sitting here long. Because I know y'all got something to do. Y'all want to see my results. Um, and we can go from there. First of all, I did not get a before picture. I'm so sorry. I do have some of my older pictures. I will add just so you can see. My body is just recompositioning. It's not a lot of weight being lost, lost. But it's a lot of recompositioning being distributed within my body. My starting weight was 204. Don't freak out. I like to stay at about 195, 190, 195, 185, my lowest. 180 all right now. I'm just going to show y'all the body. The body be bodying. Look at this. I do have skin. And I want y'all to get used to that. Like, it's okay to have some skin on your stomach. It is okay to have skin on your stomach. I have skin. I'm sure if they take the skin off, it would be pinched tight. But I don't want it to be pinched tight. It's okay that it's not pinched tight. On to the next subject. All right, at 204, like I said, I'm going to break it down in a timeline. Um, I'm going to do a voiceover for this next part so y'all can see a timeline of really how it went and how it fluctuated and how amazing it is to not overreact, overweight, and to understand your body is not, um, is not here to hurt you. It's here to show you different things and to keep you in an understanding state of mind of what you're putting inside of it. It will only give you what you're giving it. Okay, so watch this next clip. Okay, so this is my chart for my weight. It's an app that I use that's connected to my scale. I suggest that y'all definitely get a scale. Um, I could put it in my down below, but this scale really tracks everything. Like I told y'all, I started at 204, as you can see up there, and that was my highest weight going in. I was like, wow, but it's very good for tracking everything. So on Tuesday, you can see I went down just about three pounds and I like it so much because it goes into detail showing your weight, your BMI, body fat, body, muscle rate, everything. So you can kind of trace where the weight came from. So you're not freaking out like, oh, I got so fat or something because sometimes it's not body fat that you're gaining. Sometimes it's muscle. Sometimes it's extra water and it's good to track that to see. And that's why I was so happy I had this scale. Okay, the next day I lost one pound, just one pound. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's cool. And I just ran with it. But this next day, this is the day I turned up, girl. I lost 5.2 pounds in a day. This is how I know you have to trace what you're doing and also write down what you're doing. Because on this day, I had the most fluids and I rested the most. So listen, this is when that weight is going to go off, when you rest, when you're drinking more. You just have to see it because at this last day, I actually gained a pound because I was actually, I didn't do as much as I did the day before. And when I could trace this, I was like, wow, this is really um, astonishing because I was able to trace why the weight went up like it went. And it didn't go up a lot, just one pound, I think, just like maybe a couple, um, just a pound, uh, because I was 195 and went to 196. And I was able to see where the weight was coming from. And it came all from protein and water. I didn't have enough of those. So then my weight spiked up. And then on this last day, I ended up getting it back down. I'm going to show y'all. Getting it back down to 195. Which was amazing to me because... I'm ending at 195. That's cool. I lost like nine pounds. I thought it would be 10, but nine is fine. And it's just amazing to see what you can do with the body as long as you're paying attention to it and watching what you're doing and what you're putting in it. Like I tell y'all all the time, 
is not what you think. So I really suggest weighing yourself every day when you're trying to lose weight. Weigh yourself every day because I would never knew I hit 195 in the middle of the week. So I definitely suggest that you get a scale that can weigh all those things and look into all the elements in your body so you won't be going crazy about weight and start weighing yourself every day if you're looking to lose weight so you can know where you're at at every second and you can kind of figure out gauge what you did and it's going to help you like I really was able to kind of map what I did and going forward I'll know exactly what happened I've been new this but I'm just glad I can share it with y'all today and get y'all some tea on it because it's very very important okay hey, after reviewing that you can see that my weight fluctuated I had a, a, a big jump of five pounds like I just told y'all 5.2 pounds in one day you have to understand the body is taking in different things and messages of what you're giving it and it's exploring. You got to understand what type of fast you're doing. You got to understand what you're doing to your body in order to release the toxins. There's so much going into that. And also, I'm actually um, about to have my cycle as well. So you don't know how your body is going up and down. But either way, I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, the results don't lie. Um, I think I almost lost, I want to say nine pounds. I want to do 10. That's fine. Nine pounds is fine. I like to stay around this weight. 195 is okay with me. I'm cool with that. I just want to teach y'all to love yourself no matter what the weight is. Just understand that your body is recompositioning. It's not always about being 170, 180 because sometimes 170 look bad. Don't get mad at me. So happy about the results because I was able to see myself in a whole nother light. Um, I stuck through it. I drank all my liquids and I feel like the reason why a lot of us give up is because we don't have goals. Or we don't go day by day on what we feel in regards to what we're doing. Always set a goal. Always, every day, make it a new day. Stop looking like, okay, yesterday I was hungry. Okay, today is a new day. And change your mindset in regards to that. If y'all want a part two on this, let me know. Because I'm just going to leave this right here. And yeah, if y'all want to know more information on what I did, how I did it, I can do a part two and we can go from there. But this is why I'm going to leave it. I want to tell y'all I'm so proud of y'all for getting through this. Y'all the real 